Hey guys, back in the shop, little change up. We're not working on a Jeep or a car. We are working on a Whirlpool dishwasher. Pretty common model. Um, I'll kind of scan up above so you guys can see what this looks like. I've got it laying down on its back up on some saw horses. Um, but it's, uh, it's a basic model. It's, it's uh, you know, a Whirlpool dishwasher. They've been making these a lot for a lot of years. Pretty common. Um, but what we've got is this uh, this dishwasher about every five years or so starts leaking out of the bottom right here. It's a diverter valve and it's actually not the valve that leaks. It's a little seal on the inside that leaks. And so I've changed that out. Um, next time I do that, I'll make a video of that. It's very simple. You can, you can do it from the inside of the dishwasher without even taking it out. But while I had it out and testing it for leaks, I thought I'd go ahead and replace this water valve because this water valve, this is the inlet water valve. This is the next most common failure on these things. So, um, you know, to start off with, this dishwasher model is a WT, I'm sorry, a WDT770PAYB2. And of course, I'll put that in the description too. And I got on Amazon after searching for the uh, manufacturer's part number. I got on Amazon and I found a $25 water valve. So, this is the new water valve. And this is the old one, and I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and swap this out real quick. And we should have another at least five years of, of leak-free service out of this dishwasher. So let me get some stuff out of the way first just to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to take the drain line and just kind of snake it out of here just to, just to get it out of my way. I don't really need it. any tools to do that. It just kind of snaps out. Um, what I've got here is a quarter inch socket, quarter inch drive, and quarter inch hex head. So we'll go ahead and start loosening this nut, this uh, sheet metal screw right here. And it's real important to, um, you know, make sure you stay on top of any leaks from these things, especially if you have, you know, wooden floors. Um, I always recommend on a dishwasher putting in a, a uh, one of the plastic trays i'll put a link to that too on the description but they sell these uh, plastic trays that fit perfectly in the dishwasher space that allow you to uh, get the dishwasher catch the leak it doesn't actually stop it from leaking but what it will do is get you uh, so that if it does leak it leaks out the front and you don't end up getting a surprise you know when you find out your basement is uh you know, the ceiling's got a leak on it. So we will get this unbolted. It looks like a pretty straightforward deal here. Just one bolt holds it in, and then we got a, a little bit of a electronics clip on the back. Have to kind of looks like you just kind of click. If I'll, I'll get a better picture of that so you can see, because you guys kind of saw me fumbling with it. Very simple. There's a there's a clip right here. You just push that down with your fingernail, grab the wires, and just kind of wiggle that out. So there we go. We got the old one and got one simple hose clamp on here. Just using some some regular slip joint pliers on that and squeeze the clamp and, and back that off. This is a very simple, very easy repair. There's the old water valve. See a little bit of water leaking out from there, that's okay. That's why we're in the garage and not in the kitchen. This could just as easily be done in the kitchen though. It would just take a few rags to keep that from, from getting uh, all over your floor. But we will uh, slide that back in. Take our sheet metal screw and our quarter inch dry ratchet and drive that right back in. electrical connector back up no problem there and get our hose clamp back on probably should have done that before this but not a problem snake our drain back through
and these just you know they're they're just plastic you want to be careful you don't break them but they're pretty easy they just kind of slip in there's our drain hose so we're good to go that's it guys that's the entire uh, replacement of a water valve on a uh, on a uh, Whirlpool dishwasher. I'm told this is uh, will work on it's the same part number off of several models Kenmore's and everything else just uh, any more these days most of these dishwashers are all the same uh, But a real easy repair the water valve is now brand new. We have a new seal in the sump for the uh, diverter motor and uh, This this dishwasher is going to be leak free for a long time. Hopefully that's it guys. Appreciate your time. Thank you